Now we are going to see measurements of mass. Mass means it is called as weight. Mass and weight almost both are similar. So kilogram, kilogram means kg and kilogram means kg and gram means g. Kilogram, K-I-L-O-G-R-A-M-S, it's denoted by kg and gram, this unit is denoted by g. Otherwise, kilogram is short form of kg and gram is short form of g. So, if you measure any heavier object, you have to use kilogram. Heavier object means, for example, uh, what? Weight of a man, weight of a human, weight of a table, weight of a chair, weight of a what? A fridge or TV, whatever it is, comes under only in kg. Next, then gram means, that is, gram is denoted denoted by g or a gram short form of gram is equal to g and lighter objects means you have to uh, think about that is um, half a kg potatoes half a kg tomatoes 500 grams half a kg means 500 gram 500 grams that is called as half a kg so 500 gram of potatoes 500 gram of uh, what is this uh, you can call it as uh, tomatoes or uh, brinjal so these are the examples of 500 grams even 250 gram of coffee powder and 250 uh, gram of what is this uh, sugar powder or sugar you can use anything a jaggery whatever it may be it is in it is like a parcel that is called as 250 gram or 50 gram of uh, what is coriander powder and 50, 100 grams of uh, chili powder 150 gram of what is this um, turmeric powder these are the examples of what is is a lighter object so this is the formula you have to memorize otherwise you can't do the sums thousand gram is equal to one kilogram 500 gram is equal to half a kg 250 gram is equal to a quarter kg and 700 gram is equal to three by four kg so you have to memorize this so now we are going to see how to do the conversion convert kilogram to gram that means so it is a kilogram so now we are going to convert into gram four three by four what kilogram four three by four kilograms i told you that is kilogram is converted into gram that means what is this is a bigger unit to smaller unit bigger to smaller that means that is one kilogram is equal to how many gram one kilogram is equal to clearly mentioned thousand gram it is clearly mentioned so bigger to smaller that means i told you bigger to smaller that means what you are going to do multiply by thousand multiply by thousand so four kilo four three by four kilogram you have to use in a simple form four three by kilo kilogram so first you have to segregate that is four kilogram then three by four kilogram that means four kilogram is converted into gram first that means 4000 gram 4000 gram 1 kilogram is equal to 1000 gram that means 4 kilogram is equal to 4 into 1000 you can get what 4000 gram and 3 by 4 kilogram that is clearly mentioned 750 gram so you have to write 750 gram also here now you are going to add both because now you are going to combine together because both are in the same unit first it is a different unit now you convert into same unit so 0 5 7 4 that is 4750 gram it is converted that is 4 by 3 4 sorry that is 4 by 3 4 kilogram that means converted into 4750 gram this is the right answer for the question okay that is what now express in gram see look at this sum already kilogram to gram we have done it we have done it very clearly so now we are move on to express in gram that is already it is in kilogram and gram so both units are combined together we have to finally convert it into gram okay so any doubts in the sum convert kilogram into gram 4 3 by 4 kilogram so kilogram to gram it's so a bigger to smaller means you have to multiply by thousand one kilogram is equal to thousand gram that means four kilogram is equal to what four thousand gram so four three by four kilogram so it segregated into four kilogram and three three by four kilogram four kilogram converted into four thousand gram and three by four kilogram it is already in this formula 750 gram now both are in the same unit so you're going to 
and you have to combine together and you have to add okay 4750 gram is the right answer for this question that is 4 3 by 4 kilogram you can get this answer is 4750 gram now express in gram that is kilogram and gram both are combined together so you have to make it as a single unit that is in gram okay so 6 kilogram and 500 gram right 6 kilogram and 500 gram so you have to convert into first 6 kilogram now after that 500 gram so now this kilogram is converted into water okay this kilogram converted into 6 kilogram converted into what 6000 gram because already we mentioned 1 kilogram is equal to 1 kg is equal to 1000 gram that means 6 kg means nothing but 6 into 1000 you can get what 6000 gram that is what I mentioned then after that what you have to write the same that is 500 gram you have to write like this as it is 500 gram 500 gram you have to write like this then both are same unit now you have to add combine together and add so gram 0 0 0 plus 5 5 then what is this here what is this 6500 gram so 6 kilogram and 500 gram it is converted into 6500 gram this is the right answer for the question